Listed as one of the most desirable women in the world, it is sometimes hard to believe that Charlize Theron was the same girl that used to steal bread on the streets to stay alive. Follow us through this video as we uncover the untold stories about the life of Charlize Theron. Charlize Theron was born on August 7, 1965, in Benoni, South Africa. Her mother, Gerda, shot and killed her father in self-defense after he attacked both of them while drunk. This tragic incident had a significant impact on Theron. During primary school, Theron battled health issues including jaundice that led to dental problems requiring surgical intervention at age 10. However, her life took a turn at 16 when she won a local modeling contract, leading her and her mother to move to Italy and then around Europe for a year. This period introduced her to talent agent John Crosby, who set her acting journey in motion. Under Crosby's guidance, Theron enrolled in acting school and landed her first role in the 1996 film Children of the Corn 3, followed by Two Days in the Valley the next year. Theron was introduced to influential directors in the industry, and this opened the doors to more prominent roles. Her breakthrough role came in the 1997 horror drama The Devil's Advocate. Theron's next significant breakthrough was portraying a former prostitute executed for the murder of six men in the 2003 crime drama film Monster. For this role, Theron underwent a major physical transformation, adding 30 pounds of weight for the role and prosthetics, demonstrating her commitment to the part. The complexity of the character she portrayed, serial killer Aileen Warnos, required a broad range of emotional portrayal, earning her critical acclaim. The movie launched Charlize into superstardom after she became the first South African actress to win an Oscar. This win placed Charlize on the list of the very few actresses with the biggest paycheck in Hollywood. She also ranked number one in Ask Men's list of most desirable women in the world. At this point, it felt impossible for Charlize Theron to become an unfamiliar name in the industry, but her persistent health issues kept dragging her further and further away from the screens. Charlize might have won the modeling contract at age 16, but she still wanted nothing to do with the acting business. Matter of fact, she actually trained to become a dancer. While in New York, she attended ballet classes until an unfortunate accident caused her to quit dancing forever. While dancing, the actress sustained a knee injury, and when she realized that she couldn't dance again, she went into depression. My mom came over from South Africa and said, either you figure out what to do next, or you come home because you can sulk in South Africa," the actress narrated. The next phase of her life would prove to be the toughest. Her mother reluctantly bought a one-way ticket to Los Angeles for her, hoping that she makes it into the film industry. There, Theron survived in a cheap motel as she struggled to make it past each day. She even said that she sometimes stole bread from the baskets in restaurants just to survive. But all that was going to change soon. One day, she went to the bank to cash a check her mother sent to her for rent, only for the check to be rejected because she was not an American. Frustrated, broke, and desperate, Theron pleaded with the bank cashier with tears in her eyes, and it was at that moment that she met John Crosby, and the rest is history. By the next decade, Theron became one of the richest actresses in Hollywood. But money can only do so much for an actress with so many health challenges. Charlize, after 2003 Monsters, was earning an estimated $10 million per film and you would think that money would make all her problems go away. Well, for the most she needed it for, she was disappointed. After suffering from severe cases of jaundice as a child, the actress was diagnosed with a mental disorder issue that might never be cured. Charlize has obsessive compulsive disorder, a mental condition that makes her uncomfortable until she inspects every closed space in a new environment. I will lie in bed and not be able to sleep because I will say to myself, I think I saw something in the cabinet that shouldn't be there," Theron revealed. Also while filming Aeon Flux in Berlin, Charlize suffered a spinal herniated disc caused by falls from back handsprings, so she was made to wear a neck brace for a month. In July 2009, she contracted a deadly stomach virus from her time overseas, and most recently during the filming of the 2019 romantic comedy Long Shot, the actress was rushed to the emergency ward after she hit her head against a bench while putting on a knee pad. The journey might not have been so rosy, but the actress draws strength from relationships and her enthusiasm to help orphans. And talking about relationships, maybe her OCD may have something to do with her lack of luck when it comes to dating. Theron is picky about the men she says yes to in the industry, and this might just be the top reason why she remains single. 
Most of the men she has been with are high-profile actors like Sean Penn and Stuart Townsend. While the actress has not openly admitted to being in a relationship these days, she maintains that she is not lonely. So Theron, in a recent interview, confessed that she is open to a new relationship, but any man that wants to date her must come with a lot of game. Not that kind of game, you think, the actress explains. My life is really good, so you better be able to bring that and maybe better, because I just won't accept less, she told People magazine. Ever since she adopted her girls, the South African star has learned to prioritize family over romance. Once I have my children, it's not that it replaces something or that it makes you less interested in something. I just think your priorities are in a place of high demand. It's a lot of work to be a parent, Shirley said on the Drew Barrymore show in 2020. Another reason that explains why Charlize Theron isn't so keen on relationships might be because of how dramatic her past entanglements were. Before Charlize became a big name in the industry, she dated actor Craig Bierko in the late 90s. They started dating in 1996, and the actress described herself as the luckiest woman in the world. However, their love would soon fade, and they separated two years later. Then she found love with actor Stefan Jenkins, but this wasn't it as well. They separated in the early 2000s. Following her split with Jenkins, Theron began a highly publicized relationship with actor Stuart Townsend. The duo met on the set of Trapped in 2001. Their love was passionate and strong, with Theron admitting that Stuart would be her baby's father. They even exchanged commitment rings, hoping to one day tie the knot, but that never did happen. In 2010, their relationship suffered hard times and they went separate ways. Charlize's last relationship was with Sean Penn, and like the others, according to the actress, it came to a devastating end. Another interesting fact about Charlize Theron is that, for her fluency in the English language, the actress is most thankful for soap operas. As she is not American, she learned most of the language by watching soap operas. In 2007, Charlize Theron became a naturalized citizen of the United States of America while still retaining her South African citizenship. Her first language is Afrikaans. What is she doing now? Charlize Theron received a Golden Globe and Academy Award nomination for Best Actress after her feature in the 2005 drama film North Country. By September of that same year, she received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. The actress took a break from the screens in 2009, only to return after two years to win another Golden Globe nomination for her portrayal in the black comedy Young Adult. In 2017, Time featured her on the list of the 100 most influential people in the world. Her last film appearance was in the fantasy Netflix film The School for Good and Evil. These days, actress Charlize Theron manages her health conditions by cutting down on her workload, but she still takes on acting jobs and interviews when she can. Charlize Theron, now 48, is as fiery and fierce as we all remember her to be. Amidst the industry craziness, the actress cherishes her quality family time with her daughters in their home in America. She has an estimated net worth of $170 million. If you like this video, make sure to check out this other video on beautiful actresses of yesteryear on the end screen.